Let me show y'all the damage I done did on this truck, man. How I'm riding around in this bitch, man. You know. Method to the madness. It's gonna all get cleared up pretty shortly. But look at this. Man, man, what? Man, what the fuck? I can explain. I can explain. In a perfect world, I'd have pulled up to one auto parts store, got everything I needed, and slapped that bitch in there quick. But considering four wanna be bitches and require this special little tool to take out a fucking factory bullshit ass CD player. Oh my god, the fucking train on the track, bro. You gotta be shitting me. Bolger City Shreveport have more trains on the track than anywhere I ever been in the whole entire world. No matter where I been, they got the most inconvenient ass train. This shit right here, I'm on the way to the crib. I wasn't fit to spend no goddamn another $20 and I had already bought about $40 worth of tools that I didn't even fucking need. So it got screws that I didn't even have to take out. And I, I should have just did this shit at first, but I, I wouldn't. I mean, I didn't. I should have just looked it up. Looked up the, uh, the guide real fast before I started just to make sure I didn't need no extra shit, you know. But I didn't. So I get over there, I go buy a little cheap ass uh, in dash. Now mind you, I'm redoing all the interior and everything, but while I'm just roaming around fixing this bitch, bro, I gotta be able to connect some Bluetooth to this bitch. So I found a nigga selling a brand new in dash on the market for $60. So I was like, come here, let me get that. You see these folder holes right there? There's two right there. And there's two right there. You gotta have something, it's a little piece that you stick in there, and you gotta have them in there at the same exact time in order to release the CD player and then that shit just pop out. I feel to uh, go get some clothes hanger, some thick, a thick, thick ass clothes hanger and pretty much make the piece, you know? Big nigga rig activity. Four, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all need to do better. I got the in dash kit and everything I need for it or whatnot. Smack that bitch in real fast. And then I gotta hurry up and shoot to the casino. Cause my Clippers play tonight, you feel me? So I gotta get that parlay in before them boys Boy, get the whooping ass and I, and I am gonna play straights. I am gonna play some motherfucking straights for the Trailblazers. Even though I know for shit show y'all niggas ain't gonna win, I'm putting 20 on y'all goddamn, on y'all damn money line. Let me show you what I got. So I just found some wire cutters in my grandpa toolbox. So I chopped, I'm gonna have some chopped two pieces off of uh, metal clothes hanger. Stick that bit in there. I just failed to release. Hold on. Bend that bitch like that. The objective is to work smarter, not harder. And spend less money, you heard me? You ain't buying no goddamn CD player removal kit, boy. You got me fucked up. How the hell y'all wanna put niggas through extra to get this factory bullshit out? You, know, you gotta improvise, man. Y'all niggas use your head. Don't be like me. Be so quick to spend money before you start thinking. You feel me? I'll jump out there and spend money, then sit down and think and be like, oh shit. I had to go plan B. So, it look good cutting hangles. The exact same way as a real piece look. Let me tell you. That shit don't work. I'm about to put four pieces in this bitch. And jug this bitch out. I need a cameraman. Y'all see this shit when I got down. Man. Y'all YouTube niggas, I don't see how y'all do it. Boy, I bet y'all niggas prolong everything in life making everything content on. I got to get used to this shit. A lot of times I have something going on. After it's over, I'd be like, damn. That would have been dope as fuck for the tube us on some content shit. Like, I be living... I be really living my life, you heard me? And then content come from that. You niggas turn your life into content, you feel me? Your life come from your content. That ain't, that ain't hell no, nah, nigga. All right, so that's what we got. I was going for a clean, a clean pullout. But as you can see, that shit start pissing me off, boy. Get your bitch ass out of there, boy. I got some work to do. So let me get this other piece in here. All right, moment of truth. See what this bitch work. What can I do with my keys? Before I mount this bitch in and Secure all these wires and shit. It's starting to get dark too. Make sure this motherfucker work. Alright, so then we got the dual motherfucker. Man, focus. Focus, nigga. What the fuck? Nigga, focus. I know. It's a beautiful mess. I'm gonna clean this bitch up, but I had to make sure this bitch works. So it worked. 
So we good on that. I'm finna uh, turn it off, kill the power, clean up all these speaker wires. And y'all might ask, bro, how you fucking know I do this? Nigga, my first hustle in my city. Me and my dog on my mama, nigga. K Electronics, bro. We were hooking up speakers, in dashes, subs, all that shit, bro. I can run speaker wires, all that shit. But, uh, yeah, let me clean this shit up. I also bought the wrong hornet, so I'm gonna have to shoot back over to get the right in dash hornet. Smack that bitch in. Yes, sir, ski, we rolling on my mama. All right, so we got the end dash in this bitch. So check it out. I'm bumping that prior right now. Y'all can't hear it. But uh, I got to get that rear view mirror fixed. So we got the end dash in here. Man, I was working on this all last night. Actually, the, uh, the mount, they didn't have a mount the size that I needed. And considering that this end dash is only a temporary, you know, ride around, have something to bump to, you know, listen to beats while while I'm getting shit done. I'm gonna order the mount and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just pause on the music because I'm gonna go Pioneer. I'm gonna go Pioneer head unit and I'm definitely gonna put two 12s uh, in a box under the back seat and change out all the dope speakers. So I don't wanna spend too much money on like head unit shit until I'm getting the right stuff to go for all this setup. But my ABS light and my check engine light came on, so. And this came on a few days ago. I think it got something to do with the fuel, the fuel or whatnot, so I, I filled this bitch up. I'm gonna go get a, uh, go get that checked out, see what that's hitting for, uh, hitting on. Hopefully that ain't nothing crazy, cause, sheesh. But yeah, oh shit, I'm going the wrong way, I'm talking. But yeah, I'm gonna get up with y'all boys. I'm my mama, cause I'm bullshit right now. I'm gonna get up with y'all boys in a little bit. I finally took that little side reel off. And my boy Joe got a bumper. It's a different style of bumper. But we about to see. We about to see how it look. If it don't look right, then he said he gonna put it. He gonna put the other one back on. He said he could pop that shit out. He said he do body work and all that. He said he can pop it out and get it back right, so. Shit. I'm gonna let them work. Yeah, I took the side, the foot, the foot real lock with y'all. In, in the previous video, if you remember, it was hanging. That shit was hanging, so I took that off. So once we get that off, man, once that bumper come out, man, it's a decent truck, bro. It's not a bad truck. And then from there, it's body work. Motor A1. I think it's a 5.4. I wish it was a 4.6. I ain't gonna lie, I wish it was a 4.6. 4.6 is a better motor. People think the 5.4 was bigger, but it's not. I don't know if y'all can see that. You see all these little spots? Dog, my grandpa went around this truck with a damn cannon. Yeah, 5.4 liter. Got a 5.4 in that boy. Oh uh, yeah, I, I said something about the check engine light. So I, I figured out why the check engine light was on. Up under there, up under the tire. It's a, it was a, a, a line that was, it's too dark. It was a line that was unplugged up under there. And I had, I saw it when I was walking out of a restaurant. I went to the Chinese spot today and I was walking out, I saw that shit hanging. And when I plugged it back up, my ABS sensor light went off and uh, the check engine light went off. So I'm, I'm assuming that was the brake, the ABS. And it had something to do with when they changed it out. Changed out that uh, inner tie rod. They might have fucked up the, 
the damn Hornets wired, man. I don't know, man. They, they fucked me over, but it's all good. But I'm going to go back up there. Cuss a bunch of motherfuckers. I get the police call, but it's all good. Run money on dead. But, yeah, look at this shit. I don't know why this man went right here. And you can clearly see it's a different color. We got some bumper damage. Yeah. Back bumper damage right there. So yeah, we need you know, a lot of body work. A lot of body work done. I don't know. I feel like it's a lot. Y'all, you know, y'all mechanics or whatnot. Cause I know it's gonna be some noise in the comment section. Y'all feel like it's a lot of body work. I'm still debating on the paint. I seen some flares, some rim, I mean some wheel flares. We gonna I'm all that chrome is gone, nigga. We ain't doing no chrome. You heard me? That chrome, that's, that's, I feel like chrome, that shit old, bro. I feel like that chrome shit played out. Chrome is for niggas still riding free wheels and shit. Spinners. We're going we gonna to get rid of all that chrome. Right now, I'm really thinking like smoke gray, black accent, you know. Yeah, like a smoke gray, matte gray, like a dark primer color, you feel me? I'm going to fix this bitch up. Like I said, two twelves in the back, I'm going to do the speakers. Then after we get all of that, like to where it look cosmetically good, you know, then we'll, we'll think about rims and all that good shit. They're going to go crazy with this motherfucker, I ain't going to lie. That one five.